Welcome to CHT Plus, me, I'm Jack Salmon, I'm a fourth year healthcare administration student and a pre-PA student. Today we'll be going over the different types of heart catheter procedures. I'll go over like the ones that I've had done and I'll draw this up. So usually they take the flexible tube, they either put it in your groin or your neck. It just depends on what they are trying to get to. So they take it up into the groin, up to the heart or down the neck, and your heart's like in the middle, kind of in the middle, but it's more on the left side. And they just feed it through and do what they need to do. So what they do is they check you in and then they take you back, start prepping you by having you get dressed in a gown and then they put an IV in you either I've I've seen it both ways in the hand it's not recommended sometimes it's here it just depends on the surgery they sometimes not it's not very common but sometimes they put it in the feet I've had that done where they have both the arm one and then the feet so it, it just depends on what they need to get to or what your body needs. Then you say goodbye to your, your wife or your husband or whoever's there with you, your mom and dad. Then they take you back into the operating room, which looks something like this, um, where they have a bunch of machines they lay you on a table so they take you in a room here's the bed usually a camera like that and they have tvs over here so they can see what they're doing so they lay you up onto the bed so here's your body right yeah this is a terrible drawing so they usually have a tv over here or a tv over here it just depends how this setup is and then they have like their tools like right up on the side of the bed so you're not awake during the procedure you are usually asleep they prefer sedation if you're an adult that means like you're not fully under under is the word like you're not fully asleep you can still like communicate if you need to um, I really don't prefer to be sedated I usually like to be intubated which that means like fully asleep tube down my throat so I don't have to because I've tried sedation and to me it's very uncomfortable to some people it's no big deal usually in kids they well a lot of the time they intubate them they don't sedate them and make sure they're asleep and that's really good for kids thank you for watching chd plus me if you want to learn more hit that subscribe button and like the video it will just reach more people see you on ne next time on chd plus me